What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. Happy Wednesday to you guys. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So today, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how the van build is going. I apologize for not uh, documenting uh, the progress, but it has been a very frustrating two days trying to get this van in order before Michael and I take off on Sunday the 25th. It seems as though everything it seems as though everything that I purchased from Amazon was either not the right scale as I imagined it to be when I got it in the van and or I decided on a different color scheme altogether because I had the same bedding ever since I started van life and I decided that I did not want that uh, in this van and I also wanted to kind of coordinate this build with the color of the interior of this van. So I sent a bunch of stuff back from Amazon. I'm expecting a bunch more things today and tomorrow. And of those things, I'm definitely going to send at least two of them. Look at my hands. These are working man hands today. <laughs> at least two of those things are going back. One is the bed bedding. Uh, again, I changed and decided that I did not want that particular, that I did not want that particular bedding. I did not want that particular color bedding, so I have a new bedding as well. Um, as far as what I have done and did not document, you're going to see in this video where I fix the uh, height problem of the bed. Um, I was able to get the nails out of it, but I won't say too much about that because I'm going to show you that footage as soon as I finish talking now. Um, I did build a table with an extension pull up on the end to give me a little bit more counter space. Um, I polyurethane and stained the top of it. I'm not sure if I'm loving it or hating it, and this is going too far. I'm not sure if I'm loving or hating it at the moment, but it's, was it, it is what it is, and I just don't have the energy right now today because I did a lot today um, to change anything about it. It's drying now. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse of it. Uh, let me give you guys a quick glimpse of the table. All right, this is just a quick glimpse at the table. Um, I got a little bit of cleanup work to do there, but it was a nice, simple table to build. And here is the ex extension that I've added on to it. So it gives, it, uh, gives me a little bit more counter space uh, yeah, and that's the result of the bed. It's lowered. I'm not sure if I'm loving or hating the color of the uh, polyurethane and stain that I chose. It was like an antique walnut, but it is what it is at this point, and I'm not going to change it. All right, that was a quick glimpse at the uh, table with the extension on it. Um, I think after today, after tomorrow, actually, uh, Thursday, after I get everything delivered from Amazon on Thursday, tomorrow, I think, um, and put everything in here, I think things will start to come together. And then on Friday, I will do a reveal because everything should be done by Friday. And I'm starting to get a little more excited about it now that I have corrected the bed, uh, made this table. So that's all the building that I have to do for this uh, build. Everything else is uh, things that I have bought. So let me get into and show you guys the um, footage that I recorded when I was uh, deconstructing the bed. And I did uh, <clears throat> shoot some footage at Lowe's of me cutting the legs down because I ended up having to cut the uh, legs down with my jigsaw and thankfully, 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 
I did a decent job with cutting those uh, six legs down and didn't cut no crooked legs. So I was pretty proud of myself about that. The bed is very sturdy now. Uh, let me just get into that footage. All right, I have these four nails on the top on this side and then I'll be finished the top part. These are the toughest ones, I don't know why. Cause I don't have no room to. All right, there we go. All right, one down, three to go. Then I can take the whole top off. There we go. One more, one more. Ouch. This last one wanna give me some problems. But I will yank this bad boy out. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Oh Lord, the top of the hat thing came off. Okay, you know what? Can I get this off this way? All right, fine. All right, got all my legs. Now the only thing I have to do is take, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Now all I have to do is take the six nails out of the base of the bed and I'll be able to pull the whole bed out. Mm. Then I'll head to Lowe's and see if they can cut those down for me. Let them know that I did buy them from there yesterday and hopefully they can. If not, I might just buy myself a little Oh my God, I look how, how crazy. I might buy myself a handsaw, a small handsaw, and just do it myself. I probably get a better accuracy with a handsaw than me using my jigsaw. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, now I got the uh, bottom piece out. <clears throat> I'm just banging the nails to the other side so that I can turn it around and pull all the nails out.
All right, guys, that's it. I can now reuse this piece of wood. I don't have to buy no more wood. Oh. <laughs> What I'm thinking about is taking these two pieces of wood and screwing them together to make the top of it much thicker. And then for the legs, just get some small L brackets. Someone mentioned that in the uh, comments. Uh, why did I put the bottom layer on? It just takes away some of the height. Uh, I did that because I would have wasted half of the slab of wood. So I had to use that wood some way. But had I thought about it from the beginning, the thing about me is a lot of times I make the wrong decision in the moment. And then I think about it and correct it after the moment. And these are some of the things that, or some of the moments <laughs> that <laughs> If I would have thought about it, I would have did it this way. But anyway, I'm going to buy a drill today and some screws. So maybe I'll go ahead and screw these on and then get some L brackets for when I get the legs uh, cut down and screw the uh, legs to the subfloor with the L brackets. All right, let's go to Lowe's. All right, guys, I am finished lowering the bed. It is all done. It looks really, really nice. Um, I put the two inch mattress on there instead of the uh, four inch mattress. I slept on a two inch mattress on the floor area last night and it was really, really comfortable. I slept really well. So I'm trying the two inch mattress to give me even more head space. So I'm really liking it. So let me give you guys a quick look. All right, guys, that's what it looks like. I should have uh, shown you guys prior to putting on the bedding, but it looks really nice. It's nice and sturdy. What I did was I put, I put both pieces of plywood on the top and no bottom. So it makes it that much more sturdy. For those of you who were saying, you know, I need a bunch of more uh, legs in the middle for uh, stability. So this is really sturdy now. This ain't going nowhere. Look at that. It's not going anywhere. I have uh, L brackets on the legs. Someone in the comments suggested that I do some L brackets on the legs and I did that and it's really really sturdy and let me show you guys the headspace that i have all right guys that's going to be a wrap for today's video as always thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate you guys you know that and i'll see you guys the next time